Welcome to my channel. This is BK from CocoZini.com. So in this tutorial, I'll be making this easy kimono top. And this is something you could easily make within 30 minutes. So let's get started. Ignore the white stuff on the fabric, it's the stickers that comes with the fabric. So I'm starting with the back of the top. So um, also I have the right side up and the fabric is folded in two. So first I'm just going to make a straight line starting from the folded part of a fabric. And what I will also do is I'm going to measure out how long I want the top to be. Starting from that straight line that I drew on top. I'll be shifting my fabric on and off because I just want to be able to cover the video. So I, I want my top to be 27 but I'm adding 1 inch to it to make it 28. And this will be for the same allowance. Also, I'm going to need the length of my short, my shoulder to waist. Then I'm going to draw a straight line, squaring it all the way down. Once I'm done, I will go up to the neck. So for the back neck, you will be measuring three inches, and you make a line. Then also you measure two, two inches down. Then you're just gonna draw, use a curve ruler to draw out the a line to join the neck and the front and the center front or center back of the fabric of the bodies rather. Another thing I'm going to measure is my shoulder to shoulder divided by 2. And uh, my shoulder to shoulder is 16. I divided by 2. I'm going to mark out 8 inches from there. Also, then I'm going to add how long I want the sleeve to be. I want my sleeve to be 13 inches long. So I'm going to add 13 inches starting from the end of my shoulder to shoulder which is starting from that 8 inches that I measured for my shoulder to shoulder divided by 2 and I've marked it right down there all the way down so one thing I'm going to do too is that I'm going to measure 1 inch right at the end of the 13 inches that I just measured then I'm going to connect it like a V to the shoulder line which is the 8 inches that I marked out earlier like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a straight line starting from that 13 inches line and I'm going to connect that straight line to the end to the line that ended the top so that 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 long line that I marked for the end of the top I'm just going to connect one straight line from the shoulder the end of a shoulder line to the end of the top line Then get your waist measurement divided by 4. Then you mark it down. My waist measurement is 36 and I divided it by 4. It's 
nine inches so I'm marking it down but I'm going to add another two inches to it to, for the for the for the ease of the top so I'm going to stop by the 11 inches so another thing I did is um, this is not really showing properly but I'm going to just show you when I'm done is I measure two inches on that line that I marked from the shoulder to to the t end of the top I measured two inches and I connected it to the to the waist line it's not really showing okay I'm I forgot that the camera is not really covering the whole thing so right over there I'm just maybe like four inches from the waist line I'm going to draw a curve joining joining it from there to the you know the end of the the top that line the line that at the end of the top like so you know the curve that does you don't ha it doesn't have to be super perfect but whatever you can do you just curve it out Here's a quick recap of what I did since the camera didn't really cover what I did earlier. So right at that end line, I measured two inches from the waist line that I squared out. Then I'm going to join it to the 11 inches of the waist. It's going to be like a V. Then also down on the end of the top, the line that I marked for the end of the top, I'm just going to do a curve. And ending it at, at at four inches from the waist line. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut it out. I'm going to use the back bodies to cut out the front bodies. But here's what I'm gonna but there is something. When you're cutting the front bodies, make sure you leave a one and a half inches in front before placing the the back bodies on top of it. This is going to be the allowance for the fold when you the buttonhole fold in, in front in the center front. So now that I have the back bodies on top of the of the front, I will just go ahead and cut out the front, um, the neck. I'm sorry. So at the neck, I'm still going to leave it as three inches. Then I'm going to measure down four and a half inch, and that would be the front part of the neck. I'm just going to mark it there and I will just connect it together. If you have a curve ruler, you can use your curve ruler and if you don't, you can just use your hand to trace it out, connecting from the, the dot that you make on the shoulder line to the center front of your bodies, just like so. Go ahead and cut, cut it out.
the front bod bodice is on fold so you have to make sure you open it open it up and cut it into two like so so you have the back bodice right there and you have the front bodice if you've already opened up into two so you have two pieces for the front bodice I measured the length of the front bodice starting from the neck till the to the length of the top and I'm going to cut out a visible interfacing which is one inch wide then I'm going to add it to each side of the front bodice this is just good this is just to make it a little bit heavy because we'll be attaching um, buttons on on there so it's just to give it a little weight because the fabric itself is pretty light when you're done you're also gonna measure the neck and this is going to be for the facing the neck facing so I'm going to measure around the front neck multiplied by 2 whatever amount you get then I'm also going to measure the back neck all, all this measurement are going to be on fold also multiplied by 2 so you're gonna to have to add whatever you get you add the total together then you cut a straight line a straight fabric with 2 inches wide in that length size so I've gone ahead and I have finished the edges of this bodies both the front and back so I'm going to be joining the shoulders together here is what it looks like after I joined it together you see the finished edges and I joined it using half an inch seam allowance I also gone ahead and I did iron it open I'm going to go ahead and join the side seam and this is the V open space on each of the sides so I will be using half an inch seam allowance to sew around the V shaped area I noticed when I got sewing, done sewing it that it was a little bit bulky at the corner so what I did is I am just going to go ahead and snap it into like two different snaps or three. Just open it up a little bit. Then make sure you re-secure the stitch so it wouldn't fray because this fabric frays a lot. It's loosening up easily. So I re-secured it with, a, with another top stitch on the same stitch that I used in sewing around I'm done sewing the side seam and I have ironed it flat so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the neck remember the neck measurement that we measured and we multiplied it by two so that is what I got I cut out uh, one and a half inch or two inches wide in that length then I also added a um, fusible interfacing to it so I'm just going to pin it around the neck and sew it all around that would be the ne neck facing Here is the facing attached to the neck. So you, you're just going to kind of turn it back inside and stitch it around. But before you do that, let's do the front. We're going to fold the center front of the bodice one inch in. Then we're just going to stitch on top of it. S 
stitch the both side of the front buttons so here's the finished stitch I've already secured the stitch one inch and I've, I did the two sides so when you're done we're gonna have to do the hem of the sleeves and the top so with wrong side out we'll fold in either half an inch or three quarter of an inch or one inch depending on what you want so you fold it around and sew it down the two sleeves when you're done with this you go ahead and do the the, the hem of the of the top also I finished the sleeves and the hem and I've ironed them too go ahead and add buttons and button holes to the center front you place it on top of each other and you add buttons and button holes to the to the top then we'll what next we're going to do is the neck facing so we'll go ahead and turn it in and you can just hem it up. I'm also adding a satch to the top. So I'm cutting 5 inches wide by 50 inches. So I'm just, what I'm doing is I cut two 25 inch and I'm going to sew them together in the middle. I will, I will sew it around fold it in place right side facing then I'm going to just stitch around it and turn it inside out and that would be my satch uh, satch for the for the top that's the finished belt or sash and that's the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel, don't forget to, to press the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming here today. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.